Hey Dad, is that shepherd's pie? Wait, is that a cheesy potato mash? Yum! So it's not shepherd's pie? Then what is it then? I'm so hungry! It's farmhouse cottage pie. Chicken, sausage, bacon with leeks and carrots, then cheesy potato mash on top. Mmm! Let's get cracking, shall we? Hi everyone, we're making a pie today. It's not a shepherd's pie and it's not really a cottage pie. It's kind of a cottage pie. It's all about chicken and sausages wrapped in bacon with some leeks. And then it, all that's going to be covered with gravy made with herbs and onions, chicken stock, a few carrots. And then when it's set and cooled down, we're going to cover it with the cheesy mashed potato. You can see I'm just rolling my half sausages in bacon rashers. They're going to go in the oven shortly with the chicken thighs. I'm putting the cocktail sticks in them so that the bacon doesn't escape off the sausage. I want the bacon to stay on there. And there's the chicken thighs. So I've got four sausages and six chicken thighs. The chicken thighs are boneless and skinless, and I'm just popping some salt and pepper on. Then they're going to go in the oven for about 35 minutes. And then they'll be cooked. And once they're cooked, we're going to pop them into our dish and cover them with some wonderful, wonderful gravy. So once they're seasoned, the oven's on. While it's on, we're going to braise our leeks. I've got three leeks here that I've cut in half and I've covered them with chives and parsley and a bit of butter. And I'm just popping in some chicken stock. Uh, all the measurements and all the volumes and ingredients will be in the description below. And uh, oops, a daisy, just spilt some chicken stock. Never mind. The leeks will go in for about 45 minutes. And as I said, all these times will be confirmed in the description below. So we're going to braise our leeks in advance and we're going to cook our chicken and our sausages in advance too. And while they're cooking, it's a good idea to get the vegetables chopped. So I've just got an onion here that I'm going to dice medium at the same size as my thumbnail. Once I've diced the onion, that's uh, gonna give us some lovely flavor in our gravy, along with the carrots and the herbs too. Just going to make sure the carrots are roughly the same size as the onion. Cut those beautiful sweet carrots into strips. So this particular pie we're making today, I got the idea many years ago. Uh, one of our famous food stores used to do a very similar dish to this. And they didn't continue doing it. They stopped doing it. And I don't know why, because I always felt it was a smashing meal if you wanted a meal all in one an all in one concept and um obviously it's a roast dinner too all in one and who doesn't like a roast dinner with a beautiful cheesy mashed potato topping so uh yeah it, it's just a great idea and i mean we love a cottage pie don't we we love a shepherd's pie we love all those things made with ground beef and ground lamb. But uh, chicken doesn't really get a look in. Um, pork, yeah, you can you can do pork too. But um, but this is a great, great idea. Wait till you see it and wait till you taste it. So I've got some herbs there and I'm just throwing in a few mushrooms too. And the herbs are parsley, chives, thyme and rosemary. And I've just got a couple of cloves of garlic and I'm putting in about four mushrooms, about, uh, about two to three ounces of mushrooms going in there. And I've got about two large carrots. And as I said before, don't worry, everything will be wrote down in the description below. So let's cook our uh, carrots, onions and mushrooms. And I'm using a little bit of pork fat that I had in the fridge. I'm also adding my herbs and my garlic to the mix. And we're going to cook these for about 10 minutes on a medium flame. We want to really start the cooking process of these uh, vegetables quite well. So once 10 minutes has passed, the carrots won't be quite cooked, 
but everything else will be almost cooked. So stir fry those for around 10 minutes. You don't have to use pork fat, you could always use butter or oil if you prefer. I'm throwing in a good tablespoon of tomato puree. Now I'm going to throw in my chicken stock, or you can use vegetable stock if you prefer. And I want to bring that chicken stock to the boil now. And then once it's brought to the boil, I'm going to boil it, simmer it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And look, our chicken and our sausages are cooked. And they're cooked all ready. They're going to be put on the side to cool down. So once the... I'm just taking the sticks out of my sausage at this stage. Just to demonstrate to you how easy it is. I'm also going to thicken my gravy with corn starch, corn flour and white wine. And as I said, how much corn flour and white wine? That'll be in the description below. Until that gravy is nice and thick. When that it's beautifully thick and glossy... You can now set the gravy aside, but first we need to throw in a little bit of salt and pepper. Just check your seasoning, don't forget to have a taste. Reserve that, put it to one side to cool down. Now I'm going to take my casserole dish and I'm going to chop my chicken pieces up and my sausages I'm going to cut in half. And here are my braised leeks. They've been cooled down and they've been drained and I've cut them into little pieces too. So we're going to cover our casserole dish with all our fabulous ingredients, chicken, sausage, bacon, and leeks. And once that's covered, I'm throwing in a few peas. If you know me, you'll know I love peas. So I'm putting in a good handful of peas. And then once they're in, the peas are frozen, by the way. I'm now going to use up all my lovely thick gravy with my carrots and onions and my herbs in. And I'm gonna cover that top with all the gravy. I'm just gonna shake it so it evens out. And then I'm popped it in the fridge for a few hours. And then I'm taking some mashed potato that I've mashed with cream and butter and lots of salt and pepper. I'm going to cover the top completely. And then I'm going to sprinkle as much grated cheese on as I possibly can. I'm using sharp cheddar. And then in the oven it goes for about 45 minutes. And look at that. Absolutely fabulous. You can see the gravy bubbling away and all that lovely cheesy crispiness on top of the pie uh, a great version of the cottage pie you can see the chicken the leeks the carrots the sausage the bacon in that gravy absolutely yummy so so good a great pie for pretty much any time uh, but particularly good for the winter so that's it that's the farmhouse cottage pie completed ready to eat Thanks for watching the video today. If you've enjoyed it, I'd be very grateful if you could share, like, or even subscribe. And to find out about my next video, press the notification bell. This is Archie Pie, Chef Archie Pie, sending everyone lots of love. Do take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very, very soon. Time to get stuck into this pie.